Hello and welcome to the transcription explanation of this design. It was done using Lauren Sherman's fan-made Gallifreyan script, which uses a combination of dots and lines on these four different consonant stems. And then vowels are a bit trickier. They're always smaller circles, and they can either be by themselves or enclosed within one of these four stems. So this is like an E by itself. This is a B with an E. This is a J with an E, a T with an E, and a TH with an E, because B, J, T, TH. Anyway, makes the most sense in practice, so let's go ahead and look at our design. Um, first things first, let's look at the layout. So this was done in a typical sentence circle format, where um, you have two outer sentence circles going around the design. So this black one is the sentence circle, outer sentence circle, and this thin one, is a uh, inner sentence circle and things in between these two circles are generally punctuation but this line is safe to have stuff end on it's pretty safe to have decorations go and do stuff with in fact these three dots you could make them like stars or whatever but these three dots mean an exclamation point at the end of it because you read bottom counterclockwise so let's go ahead and find our bottommost word in this sentence so here we have this circle, which is lower than this one and towards the middle. So it still crosses that middle plane, just a little corner here, but it still crosses the middle. So this one you'd read first. And just like sentences, you read words bottom counterclockwise as well. So here's the bottom of this word circle. Here's the bottom of stem. So this is the stem, and it is this shape. It's an omega, or more than 50% completed. And there's nothing ending on it. There's no lines or dots anywhere near it. Um, and, uh, yeah, so this is just a B. And then inside it, we have a vowel. It's a smaller circle. And it is right inside it. So uh, that would be, if we're looking at the B stems, A's would be outside. O's would be like a B on the string. U's have a line going outwards. I's have a line going inwards. So this is an E. So B, E, continuing around. Here we have an arc, or a less than 50% completed shallow divot. And on it, there's one line, two lines, three lines. And these lines, they can bend, they can curve, they can go straight, whatever. But lines that end on the stem count for this. So don't let any lines end on this. It's safe to have lines end here, lines end here, lines end here. But as soon as they're on stems, they count. So this has three lines, so that is an S. Continuing around, here's another of that same stem with nothing on it, so that's a T. So B, E, S, T, best. Then continuing around, here's our next word circle. Oh, and these divots, they're just like decorations. They can kind of go wherever, do whatever. They don't really count for anything. They're just kind of where you would put punctuation or make punctuation look nice on the seven circle. But anyway, here's our next word here. So here's the bottom of it. Here's our bottom most uh, letter. And it is this completed circle inside the word circle. So this is the word circle arc, a completed circle inside that here. And it's got one, two, three, four dots. So that makes it a C. Now you're not supposed to use the letter C unless it's a proper noun. But because you're like describing the West Coast as the best coast, it's like the name. It's not like just, uh, just any old coast. It is coast, like proper noun. Um, so I use the proper noun capital C here. Um, so C... And even though lines pass through it, so these lines passing through it don't count. Only lines that end on things count from lines here. But this is an O. So like a beat on a string, or in this stem, let me go find, yeah, this stem, like a beat on a string. The O is hanging out on the line of the stem. So C, O, continuing around. Here's another little vowel that's hanging outside the word circle, so that's an A. And then we have this arc here which is another shallow arc, um, shallow divot, like this. And let's count the lines and dots. So one line, two lines, three lines. So that's another S, just like this S, one, two, three on an arc. And then we have that T at the end, just like that T there. And then we have an exclamation point at the end, which I've kind of talked about already. So anyway, um, uh, things that, you know, you can have lines and stuff going to. You can have any line pass through it all the way if you want. Um, anything that looks obviously in the background is fine. Um, it's okay to have things touch anywhere on this outer sentence circle. That's fine. You can have things touch the inner sentence circle. Things become punctuation if they are obviously dots. So be careful with stars. If you put stars in here, they would look like punctuation. Um, but lines can end wherever. Yeah. And, uh, yeah.
Woo, just don't touch any of the stems. So don't touch the stems. Woo. Bye.